No Surprises by Radiohead. I'm going to be covering all the chords to the entire song, and also this riff. Uh, that opening riff uh, is actually played on electric guitar, but it's played exactly the same as this, just 12 frets up. So we're going to go for capo third fret, which is how the original recording's played for the, all the acoustic parts. We can learn the riff and play it down here as well. But then if you have an electric guitar or uh, an acoustic guitar with a cutaway and with a nice long neck, you can uh, capo at the 15th fret, play this exact same riff, and that's how it's played on the original recording. Focus more on the acoustic version. So back on the acoustic now, capo third fret, it's a D major chord, and then the chords harmonically underneath that uh, intro is a D major to a G minor, which this is a nice way to play a G minor without having to bar. And we can even keep the open uh, D ringing out there. So zero on the D, three, three, three on strings uh, three, two, and one. Suddenly there's no bar chords needed in this entire song. It just makes it more uh, accessible if you want to play a bar chord. It's a G minor bar chord. Go for it. Ah, but that intro, whether it's capo 3rd fret or capo 15th fret, is exactly the same. It's played string 1, 3, 2, 3. As a repetition three times. And then we have a little ending. And I'll talk you through that in a second. Importantly, we want to do this really with an up, down, up, down. So starting on an up, and we go up, down, up, down. My wrist is resting on the thicker strings here, and I will be doing that whether I'm playing it on electric up high or acoustic down low. And the reason is to give a little pivot point. Some people anchor their finger, that's cool. But we need to use small rocking motions and kind of a little bit like this, which is where this up, down, up, down thing comes in. Because that's going to mean that the direction's really economical. Um, as in the up pick gets us closer to the next string. And that's the case for all of these. So string one, string three, string two, string three, repeated three times, three, four. The third finger can stay where it is the whole way through this riff. We go open, uh, the other, so the other two fingers lift off, and we go open third string, third fret, string two, open string one. So zero, three, three, zero. But it's this uh, third finger staying down. Here we go, first and second finger lift off. That's what tab doesn't tell you. It doesn't, it's kind of crazy that tab doesn't say which fingers to use ever. I think we could, uh, there could be something on it that says that, right? But then I'd probably be out of a job, so here we are. It's exactly the same if we play that 12 frets up, um, and that's the main riff. There is a little chord progression underneath that, a little strumming pattern. Now, videos of Tom York that I've checked out kind of go like this. So that would be middle finger on third fret, and then but on the original recording, I think to keep that harmony of G minor, we could use that one. It's just my personal preference. So the strumming pattern here is down, 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 up. Uh, 
And all that happens here is we just then hit the ups. So up, up, up. And it just on the ands. So one, two, three, four, one, two, three, and, and, and. Doesn't matter which way you play it. how we do it. Right, let's have a look at the verses now. All the rest of this should be very beginner friendly. If you found any of that a little bit tricky, it should be more accessible for uh, the rest of the song now, really. D major to begin with. Then a new chord. Uh, it was new to me, actually. I, I've never really played this chord before. G major 7 over B. So this is a G major 7, and it's kind of that, but without the G root note. It's So when we have that slash G major 7, forward slash, uh, that means that that's the root note, the, note, the uh, letter after the slash. So G major 7 over B, or slash B. Then E minor, A major, A sus 4 if you can add it, but otherwise it's just a whole bar of A. But I'm going to be sliding that third finger to an A sus 4, and that kind of goes like this. 3, 4. that riff. So that's two bars of the D, two bars of the G major 7 over B, E minor for one bar, A major for two beats, A sus 4 for two beats, and then back to the main riff. Play along if you can. If you struggle, just play on the beat. For example, oh, oh, it's full up like a That slowly kills you, bruises that won't heal. Just repeat it like that, just put everything on the beat with the extra strumming, with the eight strumming pattern. Three, four, you look so tired and happy. Government, they don't, they don't speak for us. Final part of the verse is the same as what's just happened there, but then we're going to repeat E minor, A, and A sus 4 for the chorus. It just, that's all it is, it just repeats that. For example, 3, 4. I'll take a quiet life ahead Shake of carbon monoxide No alarms, no surprises Repeat No alarms, no surprises After that, it's again like the start of a verse, and then we just go straight back into a chorus again, basically. This is my final fit, my final belly ache. That was G major 7 over B, that's the same as the verses. Straight into a chorus, E minor and A. No alarms and no surprises, no alarms and no surprises. Third time's the last one. No alarms and no surprises, please. Just the final bit before we go for a bit of a playthrough. Uh, there's this little instrumental section. A major, 
um, to the G minor, which again you've got bar chord or this easier way. Uh, a major, G minor, E minor, G minor. So that little instrumental section, A, two, three, four, A major, two, three, four, G minor, two, three, same again, A major, two, three, four, G minor, E minor this time, and then G minor. Everything else is a repetition of what we've already done. So let me show you a quick playthrough of this. We will go through the whole song. Um, I'll simplify, you know, the strumming in some sections just in case you drop out, but you choose the level that you want to do this at. Basically, the chords are all the same and it's just the strumming. If you struggle, strum on the beat. If you want to add eight strumming, two and three and four, that might be good for some people. Just literally keep that right hand doing eights. And then we've got the extras with the upstrums and stuff. Let's have a go at this together. Join in with me, starting with the riff in two, three, four. i mm -hmm. 